What's up guys, this is Ole here bringing another Pokemon Aired Wi-Fi battle. And this is a ha battle I had against Jado, and I made him on the Smogan Wi-Fi battle finder. Now this is a um, battle with the Choice Band and Metagross again. I'm trying to get a T with it, and it's not really working out so well right now. And here I'm finding kind of a Sandstall team. And well, as you see by the length of this video, it's gonna be a doozy. <laughs> I can't believe I said doozy, that's so stupid. But anyway, let's start off with the battle. So lead off, lead off with the choice man in Metagross again. He goes into T-Tar. And I'm like, alright, um, last match I kind of made a bad... Uh, I went for the hammer arm. I made a bad prediction. This time, I should have went for the hammer arm. And I was thinking, hammer arm, meteor match. I'm going to go for the meteor match. Nope, bad prediction. Should have went for the hammer arm. Because I would have done a lot to Rotom. Now, I knew he would Will-O-Wisp. I don't know why. I just had a feeling he would Will-O-Wisp. I just had a feeling he would... Oh, wait. Uh, the sand hit him. The obviously. Stupid. Um, I, I knew he'd will o -Wisp. So I switched into a Celebi because obviously a natural cure, I'm not gonna get any damage on me. So now obviously he's gonna switch out, and I predicted the switch, so I go for the T-Wave, and unfortunately he brings in a Ferrothorn, and Ferrothorn Paralyzed is really dangerous because Gyro Ball does a fuck ton of damage. So, now I know I can't do anything to Ferrothorn because this is a specially defensive Celebi, and it does not have HP Fire, so I have to switch and go into my Heatran. He is paralyzed, but he probably will set up rocks there, so it doesn't really matter at all. But I go into Metagross, predicting... Yeah, predicting a power-up or Dryer Ball or something. But he actually switches and... Uh, no, actually, yeah, I predict the switch into... Uh, into T-Tar. I double switch because predicting a switch into T-Tar. And then I knew he'd uh, switch into something else, so I... Not, yeah, he obviously switched out. But I know it's the better play of, for me of going to Hammer Iron. I had a feeling it would be Rotom. <laughs> I don't even know if that made any sense. But now, I know I don't want to take another- uh, not another, I just don't want to take a Willowless with my Metagross, so I go into my Conkledur, trying to get the Guts boost. But, the problem with that is, I take a lot of damage from, uh, Burn. Like, I mean, lefties can, like, heal me up a bit, but Burn does do a lot of damage, which really sucks. But here I go for Drain Punch, like, I'm trying to kill the Rotom, I had a feeling he'd switch into Gliscor. Oh wait, no, actually I might have punched, uh, because I did not want to take a Hydro Pump or a Volt Switch from the Rotom. So I wanted to go for the Mach Punch and, uh, kill it. He goes into Gliscor, obviously, to wall it. And here, I kind of make a mistake of staying in. I just, I just wanted to see how much payback would do. So I stay in, and... Uh, so I stay in and you got, I get my lefties knocked off, which is kind of important because it cancels the uh, sand damage. But now with sand and burn, I take so much damage. And payback is a decent chunk, but it's not worth it staying in. He goes for Earthquake, and luckily for me, I switched into my Rotom. I mean, I didn't predict the Earthquake, but I just had a feeling he'd go for it anyway. And Rotom is also a good switch into Glass Square, as it can kill it with Hydro Pump. Thing is, I go for Hydro Pump, he protects, obviously. And now I really, 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 really should have went for the Volt Switch here. But I'm obviously going to predict the Switch and go for the will o -Wisp, But he goes back into his Ferris Thorn and I really should have Volt Switched. There are many times in this battle where I should have Volt Switched into Fer uh, like predicting the Ferris Thorn. But I just never did. And that cost me... The it could have cost me the match. But I go into Metagross. He goes through his rocks finally. And I believe I make a really bad play here and go for the Meteor Mash. He, I made a really bad play. I was predicting his T-Tar to come back in or something else. Or Gliscord. I was really afraid of that Gliscord. Predicting, like him predicting my hammer arm and going into Gliscord. But he never did that. So I go for Meteor Mash. It does a lot, but it's, it's not going to do the, it's not going to do enough to kill the Ferrothorn. So I'm going to switch out, go into Heatran. It's going to, um, he's obviously, a. Uh, but no, I switched into Heatran, but I, knowing I can't, I'm not going to take a hit from uh, this fair. Well, like, I'm not going to take a lot of damage from it, because he has Gyro Ball and Power Whip. But now, obviously, he's going to go to T-Tar, and again, I really should have predicted that, except I didn't. I go for Fire Blast, and I'm like, maybe burn, because it has a 30% chance to burn, just as much as Scald. But Scald burns way more than Fire Blast. So, I switch out, I go into Rotom, you know, predicting really anything, like Earthquake. Because, yeah, I'm, I was just afraid of the Earthquake, but I... I don't think this T-Tar had it. It had like, st I don't even know what the hell it had because I only saw Crunch and Ice Beam from it, I think. Um, I believe that's all I saw from it. So I switch out, go into the Metagross, predicting another, uh, no, predicting him to switch. I don't even know why I switched into Metagross here. But I go, uh, maybe he was specs, I don't know what the hell I was thinking. So now he switches out. 
I, again, should have went for the friggin' hammer arm. I just did not take the chance. I was afraid of the Gliscor coming in. And at that point in battle, I was like, Gliscor or Ferrothorn? Gliscor or Ferrothorn? I thought Gliscor so I went for Meteor Mash. No, he fucking takes in the hair. Uh, uh, switches in the Ferrothorn. And I, again, make a really bad play. I, I really could have had this battle if I made it, would have made better plays. And they were so obvious to make. So I switch out, you know, he leaves seeds me, I don't really care for that. Uh, here, again, I go for Fire Blast, I don't know why, I should have went for Earth Power to do some damage. I mean, I was fetching for a burn, kind of, but <laughs> I don't get it, and the Fire Blast burn, you know, it, it just comes around less than Scald, even though they're bo both 30%. So I go into Conkledur, predicting really anything, uh, he goes for the Crunch, actually, so that was good for, like, Conkledur could take that all day. But I really want my HP back, so I do go for the Drain Punch. He, I mean, it was obvious he was going to switch in his Gliscor, but... Oh yeah, and I actually double switched into Rotom, because it was so obvious that he was going to switch into Gliscor. So... Now here, I believe I go for the... Uh, no, yeah. Here, I go for the Hydro Pump, and the Ferrothorn switch again was really obvious. I just thought he would protect. And then, so that's why I went for the Hydro Pump, so he could protect the Knight, which Vol switch the next turn. But he made a smart play of automatically switching into Ferrothorn. And, uh, I can't really blame myself for not Vol switching here. But now, I have nothing to do here, so I go into my Metagross again. And this play probably mattered the most out of any in this match. He Power Whips, gets the crit. That was, like, literally, th that, that killed me. Because I would have went for Hammer on here, no matter what. And it would have killed Titar, or it would have killed Ferrothorn, and honestly, that's what he's been switching into this thing, uh, so many times. So, I honestly would have probably killed something on his team. He gets that crit, so it, that, that was really, really discouraging, and my motivation and everything just went downhill from here, so I'm like, alright, I really can't do anything in this match, like, fuck it, this game over. I go for earth. I go for earth power, trying to do damage. He goes for crunch. Um, I'm just waiting for him to kill me off because I need a safe switch in a conkleder. But I kind of should have kept this heat train. Actually, no, keeping heat train around would be a really bad idea. Yeah, heat train was kind of useless uh, at this point in the battle. Only good for Ferrothorn, basically. So I go into my conkleder. I was like, all right, I need to drain punch because if I because if I get HP back with the drain punch, it'd be great. But obviously he's not going to he's he's not gonna let that happen. He's gonna switch into Glide Score. Go for Drain Punch. I get a lucky crit. I gotta admit that was really lucky because they did a lot of damage and I got a lot of HP back from that. So my Congo Dirt kind of has, you know, like another day to live. But I really, really would have loved some of that lefty's recovery, because maybe I my Congo Dirt would have survived some more. I go into Rotom, <clears throat> predicting his protect, obviously, so I could die from the burn. And here, again, uh, no, and then obviously he's gonna uh, switch out. So I really should have Volt Switch here again, and I believe I still go for the Hydro Pump. Again, I really should have Volt Switched, and I just never take the chance. I just did not take the chances that I needed to in this match. And, well, it c came back to bite me in the ass, obviously, because his Gliscor, Ty Tyranitar, Ferrothorn Core just whined the fuck out of me. So he goes into friggin', um, he goes into, uh, I go into Salamence. This is a Scarf Moximence, so I'm like, alright, I have to kill this Ferrothorn or anything. But here I make a really kind of a ballsy play because he could easily switch in his Glide Score, which I'm really afraid of. But I'm like, alright, I have nothing to lose here. Fuck this shit. I'm going for the Earthquake, predicting the T-Tar to come in or doing a lot of damage to this Ferrothorn. So fuck it. I get the Earthquake off. I'm like, yes! Awesome! Because... It was like, he obviously was gonna, predicting the uh, Fire Blast, so I'm like, fuck it, I'm going for the Earthquake. Go, for, uh, got the Earthquake off, killed the T-Tar, I'm like, yes, alright, one of his defensive core people is down, thank god. Go into Celebi, uh, predicting an Earthquake, protect anything. Celebi walls this Glide Score, this Glide Score can't do anything to it. Like, it has knockoff, but knockoff does never, never does any damage, like, it's super effective, but it never does anything. Now here I switch, predicting him to switch into something else, I believe. Uh, yeah, why the hell do I switch? Uh, yeah, I, th there was really no point in me switching here. Like, obviously Ferrothorn was going to come in, but I think I had a better choice, like, better choice of uh, going to Tommins.
But here I make a really ballsy play. I'm like, all right, he's gonna, he's probably gonna like predict my Salamis to come in. So I'm going to go for the placement to get some HP back, and it works out because of all predicting my Salamis to come in. I'm like, yes, all right, my Rotom is now back at green HP, which is great. So now I switch out. Go into my Conqueror's Death Fodder because like it, it can't take a hit. Um, rocks, sand, burn, every every one of those would kill that Conqueror. So it really kind of didn't do anything to this match, unfortunately. But going to my mans, I can easily. Uh, I I'm like, all right, he probably doesn't think I have the Fire Blast or anything because I didn't go for it there. But no, go for Fire Fang, almost takes it out. I thought I would kill it, and I'm like. Fuck, really? He actually fucking lit us bullshit. Luckily, I get the, um, I luckily get the, uh, the Parahack. So now my, uh, my Salamence can kill this Ferrothorn off, which is really good. But now the problem is, I die to Iron Barbs. So I switch into Rotom, and, well, he goes into his Rotom, and I'm like, alright, I really, I really have to, like, go, like, all the way here and just go for the Thunderbolt, because I, even though this is a speed tie, I just had to do it. There's no point. I was like really discouraged to smash it. I'm like, fuck it. I'm going wild. So Thunderbolt, kill it. Um, win the speed tie too, which is pretty lucky. I mean, I guess I got pretty lucky, but it really didn't help me much in this battle. I go into Celebi predicting a close combat, obviously. Uh, so yeah, and it does exactly 102. I just realized that. It does exactly 102 damage. So maybe like next close combat, that would either kill me or... I would have lived if I would have gotten min damage, hopefully. So here, I go for Giga Drain. I'm like, all right, I have to leave my Celebi in no matter what. Go for Giga Drain. He switches out, fearing that maybe close combat won't kill. And I was so, like, happy when he switched. I was like, all right, maybe I still have a fighting chance. Because all he has left, I think, is an Infernape, a Terrakion, and a Gliscor. So maybe my Rotom and Celebi can do something about it. And my Rotom and Celebi are my defensive cores, Bold Rotom and... uh Calm Celebi. Calm Celebi is really good though. I really like this set. But anyway, he switches out. I have to go. No, actually, I. Fuck. I, I go for the recover here. Predict. Uh, not really predicting a switch. It's just Glassword can't do anything to Celebi. So I thought it would be a great chance to heal up here. And right now, this. Uh, right here, I was like, all right, I'm gonna go for the T Wave. Pred uh, because. It would either slow this Infernape down, or he's gonna U-turn and maybe go into Terrakion. So I go for T-Wave, but that was a huge mistake because I actually live, and he's gonna go into Gliscor. I really should have recovered here or Giga Drain because if I would have, my Celebi would have had more life, and he wouldn't like want to switch into my Celebi with anything else because I could have just went for the T-Wave. Like I would have probably just kept going for the T-Waves, getting something paralyzed. But that's not the case. I died a sandstorm. I really should have recovered a Giga Drain because, well, I would have lived the sandstorm. Now, going to Rotom, Hydro Pump. He's being a douchebag about it because uh, this is my last poke. But he's being an asshole, and he's not, and he's just not letting my Rotom kill him off. He goes for Toxic for no reason. I'm like, you're being a fucking dick. You know that, right? So I guess he just wanted a 3-0, but he's not gonna get the 3-0 anyway. But, well, I really can't do anything against the Terrakion, Infernape, and Gliscor, so that is going to be a good game. Um, I, I mean, I kind of uploaded this match, even though I kind of got wrecked and I played stupid. It's just to show that you have to take risks like in matches like these, or you're not going to come out with the win. You have to take risks because, you know, high risk, high reward. Sometimes it's bad, sometimes it's good, but I just played it too safe, and I made really bad plays, and, well, that's what cost me the match. But still, that was a really good game, Jado. Um, He doesn't have a channel, so I really can't leave his thing in the description. But uh, that was a really good game. Uh, hope you enjoyed, guys. I know it was a long one, but I really... Thank you. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this battle. Um, rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all later.